I've uh, just received my new lens for the GitHub Git 2. This is a non fisheye lens. It's a 94 degree lens for the camera. You can see it here. So this is the new lens. It uh, comes unadjusted and uh, it's not fixed. And it also has a lens cap as uh, this uh, lens is a bit longer than the original lens. So this cap will not fit uh, like it should. And also the waterproof case will not uh, go along well with uh, this lens. So I'm going to cover it a bit so it will not gather dust. Uh, to install it we need to take the camera apart and I'm going to show you how to do that step by step so you need to remove the battery and the SD card and we also have to remove the front panel the internal assembly out it's easy to do that by using the battery compartment we can press it out a bit and then we need to make its way out a bit just do not force it it will come out also we need to take this off here so the wireless antenna will have more space to move. And there it goes. So the antenna will remain uh, fixed on the chassis. And now to replace uh, the lens we need to remove the main board so I'm going to remove the flex cables like this screws here. I'm also going to zoom in. Okay. So one screw here. Another one here. Okay, the ma main board should be loose and it's loose. It's held in place with the flex cable of the LCD cable. This is stick here with double sided tape so with a bit of wiggling around it should come off you, you do not want to force this as you can break it easily so now that is out and I'm going to turn this a bit need to also remove this flex cable here is going to come out any moment now. You can also take this out. So, main board is out. I'm going to turn it around. So, this is the lens and the image sensor. I'm going to take them out. We need to remove this insulator here. It's glued on the camera. I'm gonna put it aside. And we have a screw here. And also, we need to remove the flex cable from the optical sensor as well. 
as there is a hidden cable underneath uh, sorry a hidden screw here so I'm gonna put the cable sensor and the lens are out and now if you have access on the back of the sensor two screws here and you can remove the lens assembly and put the new lens on now I'm going to take the lens assembly out sensor we don't want to get dust or fingerprints on that and now we are going to put the new lens over the sensor here is the old lens and the new lens we can see there there is a significant difference in size between the two of them screws are installed and now we need to put all back together again so I'm going to install the sensor on the case All the components are now attached so we can uh, test the buttons if they are free so they all work this is obvious and uh, let's do a test first to see if it's working so we do not want to put, put it uh, back together if it doesn't work so I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to remove the lens cap so we have some image on it and it's highly unfocused so we need to focus it a lot uh, I'm going to explain you how to do that but we have image sorry it was out of the image here so the lens is unadjusted uh, something like that for us starting I'm going to use a micro HDMI cable and a Zeeman star here is the pattern so this is going to be used for focusing the camera to properly focus the camera I'm going to place the Zeeman star somewhere where it's in reach of my field of view along with the TV and I'm going to use a small LED lamp to light on the pattern as I want the best contrast out of it and I'm going to put the camera at a distance of around one meter from the pattern 
and uh, I'm going to slowly adjust the lens as you can see on the TV uh, I want the best contrast near the center of the pattern so if it gets I'm going to exaggerate a bit if it gets fuzzy and uh, it loses details of the lines it's not focused and you can compare that with this this and the TV and as I'm filming with another camera you can see how it looks focused and I'm trying to get the same by adjusting the new lens and we are getting close so that's so that's about it and now we are also going to do some sample videos and pictures just to check the focus I'm now going to connect the camera to the PC and uh, see some uh, sample pictures and uh, recordings to see if it's properly focused the video looks uh, sharp it was uh, filmed from uh, around uh, half a meter and uh, it's uh, still uh, properly focused if I get close enough it uh, loses uh, from the focus which is normal let's see some uh, of the pictures and there it goes it seems to be normal I'm going to test it some more on uh, daylight but that's about it uh, when the focus is uh, fully established uh, you need to lock the lens on the thread and for that time uh, recommending some uh, hot glue uh, just uh, a bit of uh, added around the thread uh, do not use uh, super glue or something like that as uh, it has uh, some vapors which can uh, make the lens to be glazed and it's impossible to get it removed without damaging it the focus was uh, properly checked and now it's uh, time to fix the lens i'm going to use a hot glue gun and i'm going to add just tiny amounts of glue in a few places and I'm going to take care not to put glue on the lens the advantage of uh, this glue is that it can be removed easily so you can readjust the focus if you need that so. and that should do it there it goes, so a few spots of glue, similar to what they do at the factory. Going to remove the excess and add this uh, protection here for the Wi-Fi antenna. And now the camera is ready to receive its front plate again. You can see how the new lens gets out of the protective casing so you can use this cap now to prevent scratches I'm gonna think of a modification also for the waterproof case to get this inside but that's another problem I'm going to do some tests with it and I'm going to add them soon on my channel. Bye bye!